Hey guys, welcome back to the Two Tops Down podcast. Today we're going to go over some new and old Two Tops Down featured tracks and a new mix made by Freak. The last Two Tops Down podcast did get taken down, but that didn't stop me. So I'm going to go ahead and revamp this and try to get it out there as soon as possible. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining in and this is the Two Tops Down podcast. Just a memory, that's all you'll be, a thought in the back of my through all the battles fought In the end you lost No care to the blood you shed And if you try to come back home All you'll find is shattered stained glass windows Run away alone And we'll fly together i 
That was TC5 crashing down. If you want to put your own spin on the track, join the remix contest. You can win some awesome prizes. Links are in the description below. Technically, uh, nah. Have you ever caught a good guy like a, like a real superhero? Nah. Have you ever tried a disguise? Nah, nah. All right. I can see that I will have to teach you how to be villains. Here's a little lesson in trickery This is going down in history If you wanna be a villain number one You have to chase a superhero on the run We are number one
Thank you guys for tuning into the Two Tops Down podcast thus far. Up next, we have the interview with Bryson Stanton. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, not too bad. How about yourself? Um, I'm doing just fine. I got a few questions for you. You want to answer them for me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, what inspired you to make music in the first place? Uh, the, the main inspiration when it comes to, to like actually creating music and stuff was more or less from my parents. Um, when I was growing up, they, they were always like in a band or whatever, and they traveled around and, and they went up to like Northwest Territory in uh, the province that I live in in BC. And they went into Alberta and stuff like that. And I mean, they were they were touring like most of the year. I think it was like 50 out of 52 weeks of the year. And uh, yeah, like I, I mean, I didn't really see them a lot, but but I like uh, I called them and like Skype and, and stuff like that. And uh, just like knowing how much like they loved music and how passionate they were for music and stuff like that. It was uh, it was like kind of. Yeah, it, that was the inspiration for for getting into it. So it was like your parents, like you guys had a deep connection when it come to music and everything. Yeah, exactly. And and like when I talk to my parents now, I like I know that we always have something to talk about, even even if it's not about music. But for the most part, it's like, hey, like, um, what's what's this chord progression? So would you say that right? you have? Uh, do you guys have like a uh, close relationship? Would you say that? Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like I, I call my parents. Like I call my mom pretty much every other day, and and my dad calls me at least like twice a week. <laughs> oh well, and here's another question: What really pushed you to make it just specifically electronic music in the first place? Uh, I think it was more or less like the at, at the time it was more like the ease of access to a degree, because like. I mean, you can you can download the uh, like you can download FL Studio or you can download like right, and you can you can just sit at your computer, put your headphones on, and not make any noise and not annoy anyone. <laughs> and like especially if you live in like an apartment or or something like that, you don't you don't need to have uh, like a drum kit or like you know like an electric guitar or whatever like plugged in and and pissing off your neighbors. But um, but. Yeah, with, with electronic, you can just sit, put your headphones on, and just kind of thump away, right? Right, right. Well, that's much easier than, like, if you were to have, like, a band in your room or something, and you were trying to learn other types of music. Uh, but specifically under that note, uh, have you made any tracks recently? Um, I'm actually working on um, a couple things. There's, there's one thing that I'm working on for Ethereal. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to say anything about it. I'm not sure, but I'm working on something for that. Uh, I have an album that I'm working on currently called Lost City, and I'm really fucking excited about it. I have the album art pretty much like 50% done, and it looks fucking insane. I cannot wait to show you guys. And um, the third thing I'm working on is I'm actually doing a video game OST. And I've been I've been thumping away at that pretty uh, pretty good. My my buddy Jared, he's he's making a game. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to like say what it's about or whatever because it, it is subject to change. But, but yeah, so far my the uh, the inspiration for the songs I've been told is a combination of like Pirates of the Caribbean and like some like weeaboo metal type thing. I was like, okay, weeaboo let's see metal what we can type do. thing. Yeah, it's it was from a game, and I can't remember what game it was from. Oh man, I'd have to look. Right. So, are you planning on, with that being said, are you planning on uploading with Two Top Sound at any point? And I mean, not just as a promotion, but release yeah, with yeah. us and like us sell your music. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. Like, um, I'm sure, like, I'll, I'll probably wanna two degree split up the split up the album a bit, like for for release wise, just because I mean it. Like there's there's one way that you can, um, you know, like set up with Ethereal or whatever. You could be like, hey, this is my full album or whatever. But I kind of want to split it up to a degree of like everybody gets two songs or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, so it makes it fair through cross through um, different labels and also gets you a little bit more support because you get each 
specific, you know, like, well, different types of communities come together and listen to your songs, kind of. Exactly. And and the thing is, is like, if, if for example, if the two songs, uh, like, the two songs or whatever that, that I, then they could always, like, look at the rest of the album and be like, like, oh, shit, there are a few songs that I like for this guy. You know what I mean? Right, right. And it's not, you're not limited to one place. You can be in multiple places. That makes more sense than, well, really what anyone else is doing around here when it comes to music. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, it was White Knight Chronicles was the game. Never played it in my life, but the song sounded cool. Right, right. Well, you tell, you, you talk about how you are into other genres of music and, like, your parents were your inspiration but do you have a specific genre of music that you like the most do you have a favorite of any kind uh, i mean it is it is a hard toss-up between electro swing and glitch hop those are like those are like my two like go-to's when it comes to music because like glitch hop's just like that happy fun like it almost like reminds me of my own personality you know what i mean like it's that happy fun just like like always like upbeat and that's that's pretty much how i like strive to be typically is is like a, a happy-go-lucky person and like with with the electro swing it's more like it reminds me like it, it reminds me a lot of glitch hop but like old school you know what i mean like it's like that 50s style swing type i love that. i love that stuff i know exactly what you're talking yeah. about that's like the yeah, best I kind of music it. to like jam out to when you're like chilling or something exactly yeah you're like playing a game or something it's just like kind of chilling in the background it's it's pretty nice i, like I listen to the doom soundtrack when i'm playing a uh, first person shooter that's awesome um well here's another one uh what is the sure. best part of two tops down the best part of two tops down i would say pro i mean personally i like i like the gaming aspect like the the two tops down gaming that we had like a little while ago that that was really fun um i mean for for like the two tops down dubstep channel i would say probably like the frequency of uploads like for um uh like how do i how do i word this i'm retarded uh, um <laughs> the the frequency of uploads and saying that there's always there's always music to listen to if if you want to listen to it you know what i mean yeah i know what you mean like i usually try my best to keep a, a, a really steady upload it's been kind of hard but uh i might be fixing that soon with the whole college thing yeah and the thing is is like that that kind of stuff's understandable and as long as you uh as long as you like communicate it with people they 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 won't like Oh, what the hell? Like, blah, blah, right? Like, it's like uh, your past few videos or whatever. It's like a day ago, two days ago, six days ago, a week ago, a week ago, right? Like, there's always there's always music coming out regardless, right? Right, right. Okay, so what's your favorite part of the, like, the... Okay, this is, this is a real tough question. Uh, I mean, oh, it's boy. so hard to answer that I can't get a single answer out of this. I'm just fucking with you. I don't mean this. But what <laughs> what do you think of the two tops down visuals? The visuals, honestly, I've I've seen them, like, progress over, over the years and stuff. Like, for example, uh, I mean, it's probably only been going for, like, what, a year or two years? Something like that. But, um... Uh, for the visuals, I really like uh, how you've how you've kind of moved to like GIF images, if that makes sense. Like uh, like for example, the Talia one for the for the Two Tops Down podcast episode one, um, how it, it had like the moving Talia from from League, and then um, if you if you look back at one of my first releases on Two Tops Down, which was uh, Ninja Techno Warrior. Yeah, Techno Ninja Warrior. Um, it was just like the the static image of of Kirito, right? Yeah, off of Sao. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like like I was saying, it's like that that kind of contrast between um, the the moving um, the moving background and the actual like thumping of the two tops down logo, which is sick. I saw I saw Oni. And that looked fucking sick. 
Right, I put like, I tried my best to give this channel more of a dubstep theme considering that's what I upload the most. It's actually yeah. my favorite type of uh, electronic EDM music is uh, dubstep nice. because it's just the only EDM I've heard in the first place and uh, I've been listening to it since like 2013 when like um, Never Say Die was just like getting there you know what i mean and like ukf yeah 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 ukf didn't have animations and shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> like they were super fucking boring all they had was like a logo yeah yeah the the screen. well i mean hey it's, it's something right well yeah but it, it didn't really matter at the time because that's what most people were uploading was just pictures there was no such thing as like visuals you know what i mean yeah no, I, I feel well. They didn't really have the option to because there wasn't there wasn't very many programs out there that were easily accessible to to make to make videos like like that, right? Yeah. Well, it kind of got expensive. Oh uh, no, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. This it wasn't it wasn't uh, cheap to do to do stuff like that, and especially if you were like a little guy starting out or whatever, right? And it's like <laughs> you you try and get. Uh, I don't know, like Sony Vegas or or whatever, like After Effects and shit like that. I I don't know when they were released, but probably like 2002, 2003. I don't know. Anyways, um, if uh, yeah, like if if you were a little guy trying to get shit like that, and it like piracy was like basically non-existent. It's like, yeah, no, I'm not spending like a thousand dollars to make a video on YouTube. Fuck off. <laughs> Well, and um, I can I can imagine anybody saying that to be honest. Well, that makes sense. You know, money is a is a pain in the ass. But uh, we're about yeah, to move right. on to the guest mix part of the um, podcast. If you'd like to say anything, um, no man, just fucking keep your stick on the ice and keep that dong hanging happy. All right, man. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining in to the Two Top Sound Podcast. We're gonna go right on to with the guest mix.